So if I may, I'd like to offer you this evening three little brief challenges or reminders. Number one, I remind you to continue to manage your thoughts. And when I really reflect upon this, I go back to that little small town in Mississippi where I grew up. I always had a great interest in sports. And I, going through high school, and I was very fortunate to get a scholarship to go to the University of Mississippi, Ole Miss, to play football. And on a hot summer day, as I was beginning my first summer practice, my dad was driving me up to Oxford, Mississippi. And I'm sure I had absolutely nothing on my mind but putting on this red and blue uniform and throwing a football for Ole Miss. But as classes began, I realized the opportunity was mine for a learning process if I was willing to think. Now, I played for a great coach and a great man named Johnny Vaught, who impressed upon me that my ability to learn would ultimately be the key to my success. And i tell you what else Coach Vaught, coach Vaught taught us is young 18 and 19 year olds who thought we knew everything. And tell me if this doesn't relate to your business too. He also taught us that sometimes our opponents could be bigger and smarter, faster, have greater numbers in their books. But if we would think as winners, then we'd win. But he emphasized to us along the way, we needed to be better conditioned, we needed to be more disciplined, we needed more hustle, we needed more heart courage, we needed more desire, and we absolutely had to work more as a team. So it all started with the way we thought. Thought about ourselves, thought about our team, and thought about our challenge. So as you can see at a very early age, we were learning to manage our thoughts. I also challenge you to continue to manage your goals. And I know enough about this company to know it's a very goal-oriented company. And if you don't have a written goals program, I firmly believe, if you don't have a written goals program, this is the best day of your life to start one. Because I've found if we don't manage our goals, someone else is going to manage them for us. A long time ago, I learned a truism from the pastor of my church that I haven't forgotten. And that is, indistinct goals create ineffective behavior. The way we behave is ultimately an expression of what we believe. So I think the bottom line of reminding you to manage your thoughts and to manage your goals and to manage your actions, it really just boils down to one thing, and that's your attitude. An attitude is simply a habit of thought. Someone a lot smarter than me said this about attitude. The longer I live, the more I realize the impact of attitude on life. Attitude to me is more important than facts. It's more important than the past, than education, than money, than circumstances, than failures, than successes, and than what other people say, think, or do. It is more important than appearance, giftedness, or skill. And it will make or break a company a team, a school, a church, a home. The remarkable thing is we have a choice every day regarding the attitude that we will embrace for that day. We cannot change our past. We cannot change the fact people act a certain way. We cannot change the inevitable. The only thing we can do is play on the one string that we have, and that's our attitude. And I'm convinced that life is 10% of what happens and 90% how I react to it. And so it is with you. We are in charge of our attitude.